Monkeypox is known to be a rare disease caused by infection with monkeypox virus. Meanwhile, monkeypox virus spread when a person comes into contact with a virus from an infected animal, infected person, or material is contaminated with a virus. The disease of a court outside of Africa linked to international travel or imported animals, including cases in the United States and other countries. A correspondent has more. Monkeypox is a rare smallpox-like disease that predominates in Central and West Africa's rainforest countries. The virus is from the orthopox genus of the poxvirid family. Monkeypox is a virus zoonosis, a virus transmitted to humans from animals whose causes and risk factors can't be overemphasized. It is an animal disease. That's a disease that affects animals and also affects human beings. Now, the viral there means that it's trans the organism that transmits it are viruses. So, monkeypox actually has been around for a very long time. It's endemic in most parts of Africa, but majorly Western and Central Africa. The cause is as a result of the infection with the virus, which is a rare disease with symptoms similar to those seen in smallpox patients in the past, even though it is clinically less serious. Headache, muscle pains, fever, and fatigue are early symptoms. The disease can appear identical to chickenpox, measles, and smallpox at first, but it can be identified by the presence of swollen glands. Any individual that is infected with monkeypox, what they usually have, what they usually have initially, they present with flu-like symptoms, as though they are feeling sick. So they present with cough. They have catarrh. They have increased body temperature, fever, they have headache, muscle pain, and weakness generally. So those are the initial symptoms that they present with. Then after some days, we observe that they now present with a characteristic form of rash. Now th this rash starts from the face and spreads. It's mostly present at the extremities, that's at the hands and at the feet. So those are ways that you can identify that, okay, is this pox? because it's very similar to a chicken pox, but the way to identify it from, mo uh, sm um, from monkey pox and chicken pox, you see that they are more at the hands and feet, spreading also to the other parts of the body through direct contact. Staying with someone that has um, monkey pox, that could lead to coming down with monkey pox. Also through droplets, respiratory droplets, maybe from saliva, um, tears, and um, also body fluids, blood, and all of that. The outbreak began in September 2017 and has continued in many states as of May 2019. Its expansion mounted to the southeast and south of Nigeria. Nigeria's federal government and some states are currently searching for a way to control it and find a cure for the infected. So if we can mitigate and stop direct contact in that case, maybe through our social distancing that we are practicing with the coronavirus, use of face masks because it's also transmitted through inhalation and respiratory droplets. We can also prevent it through hand washing after um, being in contact with animals, people that rear poultry or that rear animals, washing of hands. Also people that take care of animals, if they have an open wound, covering those wounds, then we can mitigate against, then disinfecting clothes. Then once any case of uh, monkeypox is seen, contact the healthcare worker and the patient, the, whoever has that disease should be isolated, just as we had in cor the coronavirus pandemic. Some of those same steps that the world now knows and we are wiser for, if we apply those things, we wouldn't have a we will be able to curb a pandemic of monkeypox. Raising continuous awareness of the risk factors and educating people about the measures they can take to reduce exposure is one of the main prevention strategies for monkeypox. However, assessing the feasibility and appropriateness of vaccination for the prevention and control of monkeypox is now in progress. Demnolori Bamji, reporting for Kaftan TV News.